Hey, Owner Smokestack fans, Johnny C from New Jersey. Today we're gonna not load test a uh, Onan, but we're gonna do this one right here, which is a uh, Coleman PowerMate 5000 watt generator that I found in the dump. It was in non-working condition when I got it. Basically, the carburetor was all gooked up. Uh, got it running after cleaning the car, but it was really bad. So I just bought a $29 Chinese-made uh, carb off the internet. Thing runs great now. Plus, I had to put it together. I think it was pushed off the back of a pickup truck when it was dumped at the dump so the gas tank uh, was off the uh, one of the mounts uh, that hold the motor to the frame was broken uh, and a few other little minor things no big deal we got it all back together again so what is this thing here now again it's a uh, coleman power mate 5000 watt generator it is rated at 5000 watts continuous with a 6250 surge it is a 120 240 single phase generator no big deal. We're going to see what this thing could really do. That's the interesting thing about this whole thing. That's why uh, I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, seems like all day, every day we're working with these things here. We know that they will live up to their uh, rated wattage. But let's try this guy right here. So I'm going to walk around it just to show you what we got here. Nothing special. It's a uh, powered by, I guess, an older uh, 10 horsepower Briggs & Stratton motor. Uh, I had one of these on one of my old generators uh, hooked up to Westinghouse uh, uh, generator head. They are reliable, okay, so uh, I'm not going to put this uh, Briggs down, okay. Uh, the new carburetor, well, you really can't see it because behind the shields and all that, but it's, this thing will start right up. So once again, I'm walking around this thing, showing you what we got, and uh, when we come back, we'll have this thing all hooked up to my Johnny C. Kilowatt box throw a few heaters on it uh, we'll get the numbers on the digital meters see what this thing could actually do all right so hang in there we'll be back in a moment okay folks we're back everything is all set up obviously the uh, generator is not running yet but what we have here is uh, four heaters in the background they uh, will consume anywhere from 12 to 1500 watts per heater uh, uh I, my assumption is that uh with everything going uh heater wise that is uh, at high power probably going to consume about 6000 or so uh watts which pretty much maxes this out um, i do have a uh light in the back that will consume 500 i don't have that uh hooked up but that would be like extra credit i don't know if this uh, generator is going to burn up or whatever but uh we're gonna step it. When we start this thing up, uh, I'm gonna turn the heaters on low. We're gonna check our uh, meter box here. Uh, obviously, you don't see anything on the digital meters yet. I'm gonna try to load bounce uh, this uh, as well as possible so we don't burn up immediately. But we may burn up in the end anyway. But uh, basically, these two heaters over here are running off one leg off of the 240, and these two heaters are running off the other leg. Okay, so everything is pretty well bounced. Uh, just gonna walk around just to uh, make sure everything is cool uh, again I hope this thing starts this will be a fun test again this is uh, not an owner generator obviously although it does have some green color to it by the way when I spotted this in the dump laying in a heap uh, I actually saw the back end of this right here and uh, from far away I thought it was an owner but to my surprise it wasn't no big deal again uh, we're just gonna have a little bit of fun see what happens uh, some of you out here on the forum may uh, remember the death match that we uh, put a let's say a new uh, champion 4000 watt generator against one of the Onans the Onan ate it up they ran for about 28 hours or so straight uh, the champion generator ended up throwing a rod end of story okay so uh, let me put down the camera get this thing started it's a pull start okay no big deal this thing is loud by the way just to let you know so uh, if I do any talking, hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Uh, but basically from here on, it's pretty much going to be display only. We're interested in the numbers. See if we could achieve the 5,000 watts, okay, that this is rated for, continuous. And for the extra credit, we'll go for the 6,200, okay? Hang in there. We'll be back in a moment. All right, we got the uh, generator running. It's very loud, so I hope you could hear me. Right now we're running unloaded, okay? It's been running now for about two minutes. I want to warm it up a bit, but let's take a look as far as what we have uh, running unloaded. Hopefully you can see it. All right, 62.7 hertz, not bad. Okay, voltage is a little high in each lake, 134, 134. There's no load. You will see something as far as load uh, indicated here and here, but who knows what that is. Could be the meter, I don't know. So uh, we're going to let this thing uh, 
uh, warm up a little bit, then we're going to start turning up some heaters and see what we can do. All right, hang in there. Okay, we've got two heaters on, one on each leg. Uh, right now, four, I'm sorry, four heaters on, uh, low power each. As you can see, we've got about 10 and a half amps on each leg. Not bad, okay. Total watts now, we're about uh, 24, 2500 watts. Yeah, the uh, motor did not even bog, okay? Uh, still sounds the same as you can try here. All right, we're going to step it up a bit. Okay, we got all four heaters on medium power right now. Uh, as you can see, we're about, you know, 3,400 watts. Earth is doing really good, okay? Uh, both is, uh, well, 118 or so, 117. Uh, the engine was not bogging at all. As you can try here, it sounds about the same. Okay, so uh, we're doing good so far. Matter of fact, let's play a game here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to kill the breaker. All right? Okay, nothing. All right, let me bang it with 34 to 3500 watts. Okay, we're going to step it up a bit. Hang in there. Okay, we're about 4200 watts. Just try on that. All right, uh, I heard just drop it now. It's still running. Okay, but it's still not at 5,000, okay? So, uh, we got a bit to go. I mean, I've got a feeling this thing's going to be really straight at 5,000 watts. Let's, uh, fill the power all together, move it to the motor. Then when I turn the breaker back on, the whacking is 4,200 watts, this is to the motor. Here we go. Okay, let's bang it. We have no mercy here. Still not bad. Okay, we're going to turn it all right, we've got all four heaters on high, but this is only going to be about uh, 4,500 watts. Earth is going down. I'm sure if I set up the engine, get the thing going, I probably get some stuff, but I don't think this thing's going to be 5,000 watts. Okay, so let's do what we did before. This is the motor when I bang the wood. Look at that, 103 volts. Look at that, that's no good. No good. Right. This is supposed to be a 5,000 watt generator. We're not going to get it. Let me, let me uh, turn the power off. All right, totally unloaded. Let's bang the thing. I want to see smoke coming out of this thing. Right now, this is not acceptable. Okay? Not acceptable. All right? The motor's handling it, but the generator is all not quite up the bar. Let it burn up. Let me plug in the uh, plug in the 500 watt uh, light over here. Okay, so let's see where this is Uh, 
everything, but the uh, set will not do 5,000. At least not 5,000 within an acceptable uh, parameter of 